Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel and today we're talking about 6 star signature stones and which champions deserve them, kind of more. But before I get any further into the video I need to make one very clear distinction that if you are playing this game relatively competitively all your first set of signature stones will pretty much always end up going for prestige reasons and that is something that I'm not taking in consideration of making this video at all in any capacity. Now prestige is a funny thing where nobody likes to care about it or nobody cares about it until they do, until they need a new alliance or until they want to play maybe a bit more seriously or their alliance is getting disbanded and then all of a sudden you realize that you need to have X amount of prestige to join an alliance that would offer you similar rewards or something like that. It's kind of like a credit score. Grow up, you don't give two flying rats asses about it until you get later on in your game progression in your life and all of a sudden you want to buy a house and you can't get a loan because you don't have a credit score built up. Prestige is quite similar, so I'm not necessarily saying everybody should focus on it, but everybody should be at least aware of it to a degree. So either way, that is how we're going to be starting here. These first 15 champions can very easily be considered prestige options, and investing any signature zones in them is pretty much justified. But beyond that, if you're 100% sure that you don't care about any of that stuff, or you already have yourself sorted and now you are looking for additional options to invest your signature stones in, then let's go down class by class. Now I have selected 20 champions in total, but they're not going to be ranked from like 20th, 19th, whatever, because all of these signature stone questions are largely class based. Therefore, I'm going to be going from one class to another and pointing out which champions I would personally think are good enough and get big enough benefit from their signature ability to actually commit my signature stones to under X or Y set of circumstances. So let's start off here with science class. And the science class actually is pretty much the most champions that I would consider investing signature stones in. Starting with the eye bomb itself, which uh, Mortal Elimination is a great champion, but having your poison, petrifying, acid burn effects last longer is quite a significant part of the champion. Now the effect effectiveness of the signature stones do die down somewhere around 60 mark, but I would very easily commit getting them to 60 or maybe like 80 or something like that. Not necessarily past that, but I would want my immortal elimination to be at the very least at that level. Uh, right, so past the immortal elimination we have Mr. Captain America Infinity War himself. He is definitely one of the best science options to commit to, but he's the kind of champion that goes all or nothing. It's not halfway, it's not 660, it's nothing. If you start investing signatures on Cap Infinity War, you want to go all the way up to 200 and you need to make that commitment to do so. And uh, the next one is going to be Thing, uh, because Thing is obviously a champion that highly benefits from his awakened ability as well. Now, he's not really recently the most popular champion, so plenty of people would have their reservations. I did even when I ranked him up a while ago, and ultimately, for me personally, it functions primarily for Alliance War defense, but nonetheless, he's a champion that definitely benefits from very high signature level, and he's also a champion that would be considered as good enough to kind of like put higher investment in. Not necessarily my first choice, but... Uh, definitely should be counted as one of the champions here. And then we have Void as well for sure. Void is a bit a uh, light version of Captain America Infinity War when it goes to the commitment. You do want to get as high as possible, ideally SIG 200. However, you can stop at those SIG 160, SIG 140 and still kind of be doing good enough with Void and he's definitely still very much so worth it. And last champion that I know a lot of people kind of scoff at, I don't know why people are refusing to show their appreciation for Mr. Fantastic, but uh, Mr. Fantastic is definitely in the contention as well. So that would be the fifth science champion that I would personally see myself investing signature stones in. And uh, in near future, I'm planning on actually making like a really big video about Mr. Fantastic because I'm about tired people underestimating this gentleman. And he has looking beard though. 
Anyway, let's move on to the skill class. And skill class is actually kind of the most poor in this sense, because, because obviously in skill class you do have Thor Ragnarok, who is a 100% a prestige commitment. But after that, after then, after you sig up Thor Ragnarok, which champions would you personally want to sig up? For me, immediately there are only two real options that jump at me straight away. Aegon, obviously. I do not necessarily think that he has to be like super high sig in for Abyss of Legends or for Labyrinth or for any of that stuff. But if you want to use him in more of a regular content and incursions and uh, story content, then you definitely do want to have as high sig possible for Aegon. So Aegon would be one champion. And the other champion in skill class would be Kingpin. But with Kingpin, again, um, you really just want to get to uh, 665 in order to get those th three rages, because 665 grants you three rages after all power, and then you do not get to four up until Sig 200. So if you do put Signature Stones in Kingpin, then you can quite comfortably stop at Sig level 65, and then eventually, if you do want to fully commit, then do that push further on, but there is basically very little to no point uh, in investing in Kingpin from 65 to 200, but he still is definitely an option. So those would be two champions that I would see myself investing. Maybe Crossbones at some point, if he was kind of naturally high enough, and potentially maybe Falcon, but that's about it. Uh, I'm not going to add these two to the list because I would still have plenty of second thoughts. The rest of the skill champions either just need the Awakening like Nick Fury or just don't get all that much from that Awakened ability. And Black Panther, for example, is just not quite good enough, in my opinion, to be warranting a full-on commitment with your signature stones. <clears throat> Moving on to Mutant class. So which of these champions would I see myself invest investing signature stones? Well, the first champion is quite easily Colossus here. I think it is very much so worth getting Colossus to about 670. I think 670 is about a sweet spot because past that point you really do not get too much return for your signature stones. But I would see myself taking Colossus to 670 relatively easily. And past Colossus we obviously have the thirsty boy Omega Red who basically wants you to get to 6200. There's just not too much about it. At SIG 120, I believe the spore damage of a 6-star rank 3 equals that of a max SIG 5-star rank 5, and anything past 120 will let you overtake the spore damage a 5-star champion could do, but you do want to only stop once you reach SIG 200, if you are the type of player who likes and enjoys using Omega Red, obviously. Similar point would be to Namor. If you do commit to Namor, who I think... <clears throat> is kind of redeeming himself with some recent piece of content. Uh, then again, you basically just want to make sure that you're going all the way up to SIG 200. I would not invest or rank up Neymar if I couldn't get him immediately, at least to like SIG 160 or SIG 180, and then still make sure that I give him the last 26 stones. And the last one, I suppose, maybe... Maybe it would be Strife, because Strife is kind of a similar story to Aegon. Just keep in mind that Strife is significantly worse than Aegon, and in no way, shape, or form or fashion is a mutant Aegon. But the story there is fairly straightforward. He does not need High Sig to do Labyrinth or Abyss. In fact, he does not need to do Sig at all to do those two pieces of content. But if you want to use him for story mode and things like that, then you want to have this guy at a high sig. And if you do like him for whatever unexplainable reason, then uh, he potentially could be worth your signature stones as well. I doubt he will ever get any of mine. But once again, if you enjoy the champion, if you like the champion, go for it. He needs it quite badly for story piece content. Let's move on to the next class, which is going to be tech. And past tech, there aren't too many champions uh, either. So we have Ghost. Ghost benefits from higher signature level reasonably well. There's no sweet spot. The higher, the better. And the thing with Ghost is that Ghost is just so good. You want to have best version possible of the best champion available as a 6-star in-game. 
and I do fully believe that Ghost is worth the signature stone commitment. Past that, the two other options in tech class would very easily be uh, Guardian. But with Guardian, once again, be aware that you get very little return here initially, and last 20 signature stones give you way more return. So what the, does that mean? That means that up until you actually reach that SIG 200, he's going to be still lacking quite significantly. And you do want to make sure that you do get him up to SIG 200. You do not want to stop before that at any point. And Silver Centurion. Now, many people have said and think that Silver Centurion needs like super high signature level or SIG 200. That is not true. Uh, a lot of things that were marketed for Silver Centurion about his ability to kind of like gain some extra plasma charges by purposely letting your lock on drop off and then gaining more plasmas and then entering your lock on again to preserve them. As far as I'm concerned, that is pretty much unnecessary, overcomplicated, unrealistic attempt to get the very last DPS point out of Silver Centurion. And with that, the need for that super high SIG level also falls off significantly. He does benefit from it, without a doubt. He's one of the tech champions that kind of likes it the most, but he's nowhere near as reliant on super high signature level, let's say, as Guardian is. Still a decent investment and also one of, if not the highest tech prestige option. So as I said, I do not base entries in this video on prestige. But, you know, it's always a nifty added bonus. Right, so we can move on to the next class, which will be Cosmic Class. And Cosmic Class is kind of tricky. <laughs> right now, when you take away Phoenix and Silver Surfer, and soon to be Hercules, and also Odin, and perhaps even Red Goblin, who all are super high prestige champions, then which champions do you actually want to give your signature stones to? Like Cosmic Ghost Raider does not need the high SIG level, really does not give him all that much. Corus Glaive does not need high SIG level. There aren't really many good Cosmic Champions that would quote unquote be worth investing signature stones besides Prestige maybe. But there is Angela. Angela, out of all of the Cosmic Champions, Prestige put aside now is I think by far the best target for your spare signature stones if you do have any because she obviously depends on that signature ability greatly, and the higher the better, and she needs to go all the way up to SIG 160, ideally. Right then, besides Angela, I can see reasonably Cap Marvel movie getting that uh, <clears throat> SIG level up to about 60. I think 60 is about sweet spot, where you get 10 seconds in destructible duration. At SIG 200, you only gain 12 seconds. So I think 660 is definitely a reasonable commitment past that point. I would not recommend it too much. And uh, well, now we're going to have the new boy who is set to come in quite soon. And I can see a feasible benefit of increasing that uh, immortality for as long as possible. Therefore, due to lack of competition, Hercules also sneaks in there uh, for unrelated reasons to prestige. So those would be the three Cosmic Champions, Angelus, EMM, and Hercules. And the last one, Mystics. And as we know, a lot of Mystic top champions don't really care for Signature too much. Like Dr. Doom, for instance. He benefits from it, but does he benefit that much? Obviously, everybody's taking Doom to 200 because of Prestige anyway. But if there would be no Prestige, would you SIG up Dr. Doom? I don't know, I probably wouldn't. I definitely would not SIG up. Uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and I want. So which champions actually, based on their abilities, would warrant a signature stone use? Well, the first one definitely now is Diablo. Because <clears throat> that ability to take up to 30% reduced damage from all sources is definitely very potent. Whilst I do not necessarily think that Diablo has to be awakened to be a good champion, I cannot ignore the benefit of having up to 700 extra attack and 30% damage reduction from all sources. Especially because if you play around with uh, Resonate and a uh, few other masteries, you can make Diablo into a real, real tank when you combine his natural healing abilities with all else. So Diablo is definitely a champion that I would consider giving Signature Stones to. 
past Diablo, we have the most photogenic TV show host in MCOC. That would be Mojo. Mojo actually does get fairly significant fury boost the higher his signature level. And that is worth investment. I do think that Mojo is a really decently good rank up as well because he's obviously popular for AW defense. He is superbly underrated as an attacker and a higher signature level will give him more damage, which is exactly what you want. And the last champion that I'm going to mention in Mystic Class is Tigra. I do think that uh, Tigra does need to be awakened for any short to medium level fight. And you do want to get that uh, starting senses active for as long as possible. And therefore you do want to, if you play Tiger, obviously, if you do not play Tiger, then for God's sake, do not invest signature stones in her. But yeah, those would be the three Mystic Champions. And that rounds it all up to a grand total of 20 champions that I personally recommend investing signature stones in without involving prestige into question at all. And I hope this video did help out some of you and uh, keep in mind that this is my opinion and my opinion only if i didn't mention your choices or your favorite champions please don't take it personal this is just the way i see the game and me trying to give the best advice i as i can that being said see you later guys Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the...